All right, guys, what's going on? Um, a couple of videos ago when I bought the uh, enclosed trailer, I talked about needing some some tow mirrors so I can see kind of behind uh, down the side. Um, it got pretty hard when I was backing it into my house to, to be able to kind of see where I was going. So we are upgrading the tow mirrors today. Just thought I would make a video on it and show you guys uh, how this is done. Um, I've replaced mirrors once, other, once another time on a different truck. Definitely not an expert, definitely not a car guy, uh, but this one shouldn't be that bad. We're gonna take this off first, and then we should be able to uh, undo this mirror, then should be able to attach the new one. Now these are the new ones that I got. Um, these are, I got them off of Rock Auto. That's where I normally buy my parts. I find uh, they got a pretty good selection and uh, usually decent price. So, um, so these are the mirrors that I got. Um, just right off the bat they seem very very big so i hope they fit i hope i ordered the right ones so that's what it looks like that's the uh that's the power cord and you got three nuts to take off one two three and that's what we're gonna do now okay so i took this piece off and then I took the uh, the lock off, and you just kind of I just used a uh, screwdriver, popped it out, and then I had a bolt right here, and I had one right here, and she should be ready to come off. Okay, so basically how it's ran, it runs down here and it hooks right up underneath here. Uh, so yeah. I guess that makes sense to hook up to your door controls right <laughs> okay so it's kind of hard to show you because i have to kind of be right here um can't really find a camera angle that would work very well uh, so we're just gonna have to make do so basically i'm gonna stick it in just like that i'm gonna put the put the nuts on these this end i'm gonna run this through first and then we're gonna tighten it down and just put everything back together all right, so one thing I forgot to do is put this little pad in there. Um, it just kind of helps seals it, I think, from uh, you know from getting rain back in there. So I ended up having to take that bolt back out and kind of get this on there. So don't forget that. Okay, so we got this side done. And we got that side done. So now I want to look into doing a couple things to the trailer. Um, so one of the things I definitely want to do is paint the walls white and I'm thinking about putting some epoxy on the floor. Um, if any of you guys have done that, let me know, uh, let me know what you used, how it hold, uh, how it held up, I should say. Um, but kind of want to get this thing, uh, going so we can start putting racks and all that kind of stuff in there. So I know it's a little dark in here, but you can, you can tell there's no paint on the walls whatsoever. Um, definitely want to get that done. The floor is, is painted, it's primed. Um, so I guess I could do some epoxy, but not really sure if I want to. So I think I might start painting that this afternoon. I don't think it's gonna take me too long, probably a couple hours to get it all painted, probably go over it two coats. Um, but the epoxy is something I really wanna do but I don't want to do like cheap epoxy to where, you know, six months later it's all peeling up and doesn't look very good. So I got a few other things to do today. I got some running around to do. Um, I actually need to uh, sit down and fill out a theft claim. Uh, my wife's uh, Jeep got broken into while she was at work. Not really broken into, but they crawled up underneath there, took a Sawzall and cut off her catalytic converter. Um, so uh so yeah i gotta fill out all the paperwork on that which is like three pages worth of crap i mean it's just it's just ridiculous but um but i don't want to pay for it so um i got a quote for it uh for her jeep is thirty two hundred dollars to get it replaced i thought that was really really high but from what the mechanic was telling me that um on that Jeep, it's, there's actually four of them. It comes in a big assembly. And, uh, you know, they're just going to replace the whole thing. So, so anyway, it cost me my deductible. So, I really don't care after that. Okay, so I was getting ready to leave, but I got my package. That I kind of forgot about, but I really, really want. So, 
So these are my locks for my trailer. So I got the proven locks. Uh, I've been hearing a lot of a lot of good things about them. So these are the proven puck locks. So, so basically how they work is you stick them on there on your latches and you lock it like that and there's no way they can get cut off. And this here is for the, the tongue of the trailer. All right, well, let's go outside and let's get these on the trailer. Okay, so this part here goes underneath your ball. And it locks just like that. And then this will slide over the top of it somehow. Like son of a like that, where these two are like kind of like that. And then you slide your puck lock. In there and lock it. So now it's on there. Can't get it off. <laughs> so you have to you have to latch it first or else it does no good. Much better. That one's done. So now my trailer is very secure. Okay, so after doing a lot of research, talking to a few people, uh, these are kind of the best locks for enclosed trailers that I've found. And this is what everybody recommend was the puck locks. Um, these are by Proven Industries um, and they're not cheap. So all together, all three locks and the tongue lock was about $400. I think a little bit over $400, but if you if you if you kind of understand and realize the the cost of the trailer, all the equipment in there, I mean you could be looking at twenty thirty thousand dollars worth of stuff inside your uh, inside your trailer. Four hundred dollars is definitely not too bad when you're when you're talking about that much money. So um, you know nothing is foolproof. I mean if somebody has enough time and equipment, they're going to break into whatever. But uh, just from what I understand, these are these are kind of the, the top of the line uh, locks, so that's what I went with. So uh, really happy with them. So all these are keyed the same. Um, you know, all my locks are keyed the same now, so which is great. And I have tons of extra keys, so I'm really happy about that because I lose them all the time. And uh, yeah. It's something I was I was actually a little bit nervous over the weekend uh, having my trailer <laughs> parked with no locks on it. But, you know, it's in the backyard. Shouldn't be that big a deal. But still a little bit nerve wracking. So anyway, guys, um, these locks are, I, I really like them. Um, hopefully they work out for me. Hopefully I don't have any problems in the future. So anyway, we have to get going. It's, it's not even noon yet. And, uh, well, I think it just hit noon. So it's it's around noon. And uh, we got a lot to do today. All right, guys. So that's going to be it for today. Um, I did end up going uh, pick up some trash at a couple of the rentals uh, for my dad. Um, so we're going to make a dump run first thing in the morning, get rid of all that stuff. But uh, but right now I'm going to go inside. I'm going to chill out for a little bit. Um, I'm starting to feel a little, I hope I'm not getting sick uh, type feeling. I kind of feel a little bit flush in the head. My back's still kind of hurting a little bit. So uh, so we're gonna go inside, we're gonna take it easy and uh, hopefully hopefully there's nothing uh, seriously wrong. So hopefully I can get back, uh, get back at it tomorrow. So anyway guys, I appreciate you guys watching and we will see you later. Bye.